Hi everyone, and welcome to your 7th C++ tutorial, and today I'm going to tell you about loops. And what loops are, you know, they're really simple, they just loop a bunch of code as many times as you like. So the first type of loop that I'm going to talk to you about is the while loop. So you create a while loop by typing while, and then in brackets you type what you want to check to see if it will keep running. So uh, suppose that we've got a game, which, you know, once we start doing some simple games, this is the sort of code that we'll use. If we have a boolean called running, and we set this equal to true, so the game is running, and while running equals true, and you create the body of it, it's a lot like an if statement, and then, so while it's running, you might want to display something like the game is running. And then once we want it to stop, we can type running equals false. And now if we build and run this, what we should see is that it will realise that running equals true, as we said it is up here and then it will display the game is running and then running will equal false and when it checks if it's true it will say no it's false so it's not going to run it so you build and run oh yeah I've just realized what's wrong with that code there what's happened is I've said while well, running equals true not is equal to so that's double equals there and if we build and run the code like this as you can see the game is running just appears once because it's now set to false and it's only going to show that once because when it tries to run it again it won't because it's not true now if we were to remove running equals false so it's going to keep running infinite times as you can see just to prove that this will happen there we have it running infinite times and eventually this will just crash so now if I close this that's the first type of loop the while loop so if I just delete all of this the second one I'm going to talk to you about is called the for loop and this is really useful for running code for a set number of times so if I create the for loop and then within it we're going to have an integer called x and we'll set this equal to 0 and semicolon and then x is less than uh, let's say 10 and then x plus plus if we build the body of it what this is going to do is it's going to display x now it's going to display whatever we type 10 times, but it's going to set x equal to 0 and then while it's less than 10 it's going to run the code and then at the end of it add 1 to it. So if we display uh, actually if we display x and then end the line what it's going to do is it's going to display x at the moment which is 0 then it's going to add 1 to it and then it's going to display x which will be 1 and then add 1 and then it will be 2 and it's going to keep doing this until it's less than 10 so if we build and run we should see x 10 times or yep 10 times there 0 through 9 and there so you can change these numbers and have something run as many times as you like that's a really useful type of loop another sort of loop is called the do while loop and what you do is you type do and then the type of code that you want to run so suppose you want to display um, this is a do loop a do while loop they will end the line and then because it's called a do while you have to have while at the end and then while uh, let's create an integer to check while is less than 10 and x plus plus and now the difference between this and a regular while loop is that it will run the code once before it even checks whether it's right or not so instead of checking while x is less than 10 and then running it 10 times it will first of all run the code once and then check if it's less than 10 10 times so we should have the code run at the total of 11 times, so the first time and then the 10 times it checks it. So if we build and run, oh, just put the semicolon in the wrong place there. You do have to have a semicolon at the end, but it doesn't have a body, it's just the end of the statement. 
and there so we have the code run and uh, just to prove that it will run once before it checks if I set this to 11 which isn't less than 10 and build and run will just have it appear once and there so there's a good introduction to loops for you I hope you enjoyed this video please check out my website which will be in the description please like the video and thanks for watching